So uh, I may have gone a little overboard and spent more money than I ever have at a Sephora saving event. Let's see if these items were actually worth it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, um, I did a little damage during the Sephora spring saving event that is currently going on right now until the 15th. Every single Sephora member can now go shop the sale, whether you're a Rouge, VIB, or a Beauty Insider, you guys can go shop the sale as of right now. I did a whole recommendation video, which I'll link down below, but I went a little crazy. More money than I ever have and what time at Sephora, but we're gonna see if these items are worth it. It's just that Sephora came out with a lot of shit during this time and I was like, <laughs> I need to have it. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping that I really like everything. I'm just gonna be doing an unboxing today and then I will do a follow-up video where I try all the items that I got, but we're gonna go ahead and dive right on in. So the first thing that I picked up was this is like in person because I did have to order stuff online, but I picked up the Super Goop. This is the SPF bestseller starter kit. So this comes with the everyday lotion, the glow screen, and the unseen sunscreen. And I really want to try this out. So many people have raved and raved and raved about the Super Goop's, you know, sunscreen stuff. So I was like, okay, let's see if this is worth the hype. The bag is like recyclable. Like it's like a paper bag. I actually really like that. And these are going to be the items. They're pretty big. I don't know if these are full size. I would assume. No, maybe not. Because this one, these two are little minis. Like two little mini ones right here. The glow screen and the unseen sunscreen. And this looks like it's a little bit bigger. And I think this retail for like $30 plus 20% off. So really not a bad gig. Not a bad gig at all. Like I said, I've seen so many people rave about this brand. I could actually keep the bag if I want to. It's like a nice paper bag. Super freaking cute. So I was like, let me test this out. Also, I also picked up in store... The Sephora favorites. I have been, I have talked about the Sephora favorites for quite some time now. There's just something about them that I absolutely just live for. I think it's because they really do remind me so much of the play by Sephora. <laughs> a little bit more expensive, but it just reminds me so much of it. This right here, I think you get five full size. I think you get five items in here. Three of them are full size, two are travel deluxe sizes, and this retails for $35 plus the 20% off that I did get on this. You get a full size of the Tower 28 like mascara, which I think is like 20 something bucks. You get a full size of the Lawless lip gloss which is like 20 and then you get a full size of the Kuruli like eyeliner plus I get a little save product and youth for the people which I'm really excited about like I said these are always so freaking worth it I love the Sephora favorites I always pick them up and I see them they have so many out right now a lot of them are perfume curated but I wanted to go more for like the makeup because they have like some skincare ones and they definitely have a lot of hair care ones right now I want to try more of these Sephora favorites like makeup line right here plus the best part about these is that it's a great way to try out the product at such a minimal cost it doesn't break the bank to pick this up you get to try multiple brands to see if you really like it and if you do you can go and get the full size later on but if you don't like it you didn't break the bank getting it which I think is really really incredible it's why I love these so much and I feel like such a freaking spokesperson for the Sephora favorites right now <laughs> not my intention but I just really love them okay so up next I've seen so many people talk about this particular product um and so I saw this in store and I've never seen this in store before so I got it and it is the Dr. Dennis Gross 3D Visible Plump and Repair Lip uh, moisture, like lip product right here. So, so many people have raved about this particular, uh, lip plumper. They say that it works wonderful. It's all they ever wear. Your lips are super high shine. They're nice and plumpy. They look gorgeous. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this. So I said, you know what, let me get this a go. It's finally here in the store. Let me just try this out. So I picked it up and I'm super excited to see how well I like this. A lot of people just wear this by, this, by itself and just have it like as their everyday like lip gloss. I'm so curious on this. Next, I did pick up the Huda Beauty. This is the 90s Brown Lip Duo. And I was like, ooh. So it comes with a full size lip contour or like a lip liner in the shade Warm Brown. And it also comes with the brand new Faux Filler Gloss in the shade called Glassy. So like a clear gloss. And I am super excited because I kind of already like wear this style anyway for the most part i love the style lip but a brown lip liner with the clear gloss y'all that brings me back to like my childhood i do have a video coming up which i think is going to be a lot of fun if you guys liked me trying out makeup that existed 20 years ago <laughs> you'll like this next video that i have to come out but i just like it just reminds me of my childhood and what i wore to middle school 
in high school. Next, I'm kind of surprised I got this, but I did. I did pick up the Giz Gazoo. This is gonna be the Honey Infused Lip Oil in the shade called Watermelon, Watermelon Sugar. Watermelon High. Oh, I can never sing a song. Watermelon High. Watermelon High. Watermelon. Watermelon Sugar High. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So I just wanna show you guys, because this is really gorgeous. They only had two shades available, which is going to be this gorgeous, gorgeous pink, like watermelon sugar shade. And they also had the honey shade, like that clear gloss. I really wanted the mango one, like an orange one, because I love a good orange tint, especially for like the summer season. But they didn't have that or like the red one. But they did have this really, really, really pretty, like pink sugar one. Now, the only reason why I saw this is because it was at an end cap where they put like the little sample stuff and the drawer was kind of open at the bottom and i saw it sitting there so corey just kind of like secretly snatched it up i know we're not supposed to do that but it was already open so he's like mur, mur. you know what i mean and i got it <laughs> my first full size item that i ever picked up after getting the mini size i picked up the givenchy prism libre this is the loose powder i have the shade called satin blanc it's a number two i picked this up because i really 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 do enjoy my mini size even though it has like a little bit of a glitter reflex to it there's something about it that just really softly blurs the face and i just love what my face looks on it it doesn't have the best longevity when it comes to my oily skin i do get pretty oily but it just makes my face look like oily glowing i can't describe it it's really pretty um it doesn't separate the makeup i just love how soft blurred this makes my face so i wanted to pick up the full size so i did and i'm very excited that i did and lastly from this bag um i really want to pick up some perfumes this time around and you know perfumes are just expensive i wasn't exactly sure what i wanted to get because i got to smell so many amazing perfumes from going on the crater and friend trips i got to smell different types because so many girls brought variations of stuff a lot of them love the fleur line and i was smelling the products my husband and i were smelling the products and we just couldn't get into some of the scents that i was introduced to but i did find this one and i got it and i think i'm gonna get the full size when i see it in store or I might see it online but i did pick up the uh, ellis brooklyn this is the apple love um, perfume right here. So this smells incredible. It does kind of remind me of the K Alley like juicy apple one. There's something about like an apple or like fruity smelling scent that I just am so obsessed with. I had to get this. This smells incredible. It smells like a juicy sweet cinnamon apple. I can't describe it but I also love a good like fall scent and this is what this reminds me of like the apple like a Macintosh apple. I just oh my god. It just smells so good and just so sweet, sweet apple, a little bit of cinnamon. It just it reminds me of fall. This reminds me of like a perfect fall scent. So I definitely want to use this and I'm probably going to get myself for my birthday com coming up in October. I probably will go buy the full size of this because I just, oh my God, it's incredible. Alrighty, moving on to the boxes. So I actually ordered this when I was in New Orleans and unfortunately I did order this the day before the sale because this was selling out like crazy and I didn't want to miss my chance to pick this up because I really, really, really want to try this. Ordered this a day early and I have no regrets, but it is the Jackie Ina Forever Move. This is the fine fragrance discovery set right here. It's like 25 bucks, kind of expensive for just four little shades, but I am not the type of person that could just buy perfume online and just hope that I like it. That's just never been who I am. I'm very much... I need to smell the scents for a while. I need to do a wear test. I need to like sneak, smell it on my hand, smell it how it wears throughout the day, mixing with my own like natural hormones and like pH balance, smell how it mixes on my clothes. And then the biggest test for me, if I'm really gonna like this, it's just so weird, but I'm just, this is how I am. I will like to spray it on like my cardigan right here. And then the next day, smell that spot where I sprayed it to see how it lasted and how it kind of transformed throughout the day. And if it smells still incredible the next day, that I know I'm really gonna like it. And if I can like do like the all day and still smell good, then I'm gonna like it. So I didn't wanna just buy all of Jackie Ines perfumes right away. They also did sell out super quick. So I'm gonna get the Discovery set. So this is all four of her perfumes right here. Um, I did see two of them in store to smell, but I didn't get to see everything else. So now I get a chance to kind of try it. This is the shade called I Am Her, which is a red velvet pear and raspberry. Ooh, that smells really good. That smells really, really good. Then we have the shade called Hard to Get. This is giving me a lemon, jasmine, and vanilla frosting. Ooh. That smells like a lemon zest, like a lemon bar. That actually smells 
Pretty good. Okay. It also has a scent called You Remind Me. This is an apricot and white floracis. Mm, not the biggest fan of that one. Not the big that that one kind of smells like an old lady. <laughs> kind of smells like an old lady to me. Okay, and the last one we have is the NDA, and this is tobacco flower, spice rum, and vanilla bean. Ooh, okay, I like that one. Okay, so I like three of them out of the four, and this is why I like the fact that like I got the discovery set because it allows me to try different scents without you know investing so much money into it. And if I really like them, then I can go pick up the full size later on. Alrighty, so let's dive right on in. So the first thing I picked up was the Urban Decay. This is the Face Bond Waterproof Foundation up to 24 hour wear. I told you guys I wanted to do a full wear test of this and I'm absolutely going to. I got the shade called Light Neutral. I'm super excited to really try out this foundation to see how well it holds up to my oily skin. This, this has a lot of claims to it. It has a lot of claims to it and I'm gonna put this bad boy to the test. It's also like very skinny. It seems like there's not much product in here, but I just wanna see how waterproof this is, how sweat resistant, oil resistant. I'm gonna put this bad boy to the test so you guys will see a review on this foundation coming up i also picked up because i seen everybody talk about this damn product that it was all, they went on a massive brand trip but i picked up the kosis this is the dream bean sunlit comfy comfy um smooth sunscreen i've seen everybody rave about this all over social media i know they did a massive brand trip to mexico and i loved how the brand trip looked and i was like you know what i've really been into tinted sunscreens lately tinted serums like with nice bronzy look so i picked this up First time really trying Kosas. I did try like a powder a long time ago that I wasn't a fan of. My first time actually trying Kosas. So I'm definitely really excited to give this product a go. See how well I like it. See if I like the bronziness, serumness of it. Ooh. I don't know if you guys could tell. It kind of blends into my skin naturally. But it does have just a soft bronziness to it. Very soft, subtle bronze and subtle glow. We are definitely gonna have to try this out. Sounds like baby powder though. <laughs> okay, so next I picked up the Laura Mercier. This is gonna be the Translucent Pressed Setting Powder Ultra Blur. So this is going to be a truly translucent powder that sets makeup for extended weightless wear with a matte softest, soft, with a matte soft focus finish. So you guys know that I'm all about trying anything that claims to be ultra blurring and also an ultra like oil and res oil resisting and mattifying. I like to put everything to test. So I never really cared for the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, it just wasn't my thing, but I really wanna try this. So I picked this up for us to, for me to try, kind of put this to the test to see how well I actually like this product. Does it really hold up against my oily skin? How does it work with the pores? I really wanna try this out. So I did pick this up. So you guys will see a review on this soon. Alrighty, next I picked up this uh, hair next I picked up this product I never tried before this is the k18 air wash dry shampoo shampooing second so this it says meet the re meet the reinvention of dry shampoo in the future of clean powered by biotech revolutionary odor bind smart release technology doesn't mask odor it's scientifically proven to recognize suspend and eliminate them the translucent microbeads absorbs oil without a white cast or starchy buildup extend your clean and prioritize your scalp help with the gentle formula so it can last up to 72 hours so i really really want to try this out because i get really oily skin super i get really oily hair super quickly so i really want to try this out um it's supposed to be like a spray bottle like let me show you guys like a spray bottle like a spray that smells so good though this is so interesting my hair is actually really oily. I put a shit ton of dry shampoo in it already. That smells really good. I'm gonna have to really try this out, like test it on a non already like dry shampoo hair, but I really wanna see how well this cleans and if it gives me volume. I've seen some influencers uh, test it out and they made it look incredible. Now my hair just looks greasier right now. Do we see that? Now my hair looks greasier. <sighs> and I got all over my face. Oh, I literally had to go to work after this. No, no. Why did it do that on my face? It's supposed to leave no white cast. It's leaving white dots on the face. Oh, God. Okay, well, I hope I didn't just waste my money. I hope I didn't just waste my money. This, we're gonna have to work on this because 
All right, so up next, I also bought the Too Faced. This is the Chocolate Soleil. This is a melting, bronzing, and sculpting stick. I have the shade called Chocolate Mousse. Um, I'm assuming that's the lightest shade because I tend to go for the lightest shade they offer. And I really wanted to try this. I heard this smells like chocolate and oranges mixed into one. Too Faced is notorious for having the product smell like that. So I thought, why not give this a go, test this out. Oh my God. It smells like a Tootsie Roll. That's exactly how it smells. It's like a damn Tootsie Roll. I don't smell oranges, but I do smell Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll. I also picked up the Sephora bronzer. This is the matte bronzer. This just launched as well. And I really want to try this. I actually want to try more stuff from Sephora. I was actually going to get more products from the Sephora collection, but my Sephora didn't have anything um, that I needed in stock. So I had to go online to get it, but you guys want me to do a full face of Sephora collection anyway. So this is just kind of like the start, but I did pick up the brand new matte bronzer. She's cute. I really want to try this out. See how I like it. Oh my God. It's on my chest. What the hell? What the heck? This is supposed to leave no white cast. I'm getting like white dots everywhere. Oh my God. My hair. There's white dots all over. Oh my God. Do you, oh, no, what the hell? Oh my God, this is supposed to be great. <laughs> okay, so next I picked up the Summer Fridays. This is the Dream Lip Oil. I have this shade called um, Blush Dreams. Blush Dreams. I really want to try the lip oils. I've heard amazing things about this. So I just, there is white dots on my finger. Okay, well, I really want to try this lip oil. So I picked it up because that's what I originally went to go to Sephora about like, to, like a month or two ago. And that's how I ran into Makeup by Mario. As I was going in to find this, so I'm really, really excited to give this lip oil a try. I've heard great things about it. I can't tell the smells because I just have lots of smells going on right now, but I'm super excited to try this lip oil. I really, really hope I like it. Very excited for this one. All right, next, I did pick up a, the Huda Beauty. I picked up the faux filler in the shade called Foxy. Again, I wanted to try this out. I bought this before. I realized I was going to buy that kit, but I really just want to see how well I like the formula. This is supposed to give you like a plumpy lip without plumping the lip. Looks super cool. I've heard amazing things about this. So again, it's just something that I really want to try out. I love a good lip product. So I hear great things about this. So I picked it up and we're gonna have to try it out. And last but not least, which I'm also super excited about, but I did pick up the Sephora Favorites. This is the Summer Show Stopper Kit. So there should be, I think, eight items in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 items in here. 10 items in here for $52. We have a full size of the Sephora Mascara, full size of the Benefit Brow Setter, full size of the Beauty Blender, and then everything else is gonna be deluxe sample sizes. We have a House Lab, oh, full size of the House Lab Hybrid Lip Glaze, which I freaking love, which I did recommend. We also have a, um, a Glossier Mascara, these, the Super Goop Glow Screen, Island of Paradise Tanning Drops. We have the Glow Recipe Watermelon. We have the Glow Recipe Strawberry Pore BHA Smooth Pouring Drops, a Milk Makeup bl a Blush, a K18 Molecular Hair Repair. I am so excited for this. I really do love Sephora Favorite Kits, and I really want to try this out. I definitely did recommend this to you guys, so I had to pick it up myself. I was super, super, super excited. So I definitely spent a pretty penny getting all these items. I did not expect to spend this much, not gonna lie. I truly did not expect to spend this much, but uh, I just got a little carried away. Plus they had so many launches that happened right before for the Sephora sale that I really wanted to get. Like a lot, and a lot of people picked up their Rare Beauty blushes at the time. I'm really glad I got mine. Um, but I just, I really want to try this stuff out. And now that I have a job, it's a little bit easier for me to kind of be a little bit more flexible and can kind of get more things to try out and review for you guys. So I'm really excited. I'm really happy with my purchases. I'll have them all linked down below if you guys want to check them out yourself. And I'm definitely going to do some videos where I'm going to be trying out all these makeup products along with everything that I got in my like makeup haul when I was in New Orleans and I also have a massive PR haul coming up because I uh, got some stuff and I was away and it's just so weird <laughs> this never happens but um yeah oh I have a white um okay I need to go take care of myself because I'm about to go to work and I can't be looking like whatever this is happening right here. But honestly, like I said, I never do this guys, but I'm super excited. If there's anything that I showed and talked about that you guys are most excited to see, let me know in the comments below. But that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. So I do post three to four videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channels, R for the Life, where you guys get to see my cool, wonderful ventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful Patreon members you guys see right here. Thank you 
guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.